Hello students. In this lecture, we discuss on a topic India as a mega biodiversity. India is rich with the different types of flora and fauna with their great variation. So, according to the India shows as a mega diverse country. So, what is mega biodiversity one? The term mega diverse country refers to any one of a group of the nations that harbor the majority of earth species and high number of endemic species. So, on the basis of the mega diversity exhibits a great biodiversity one that means the diversity in a living things one. In worldwide, there are more than 200 a mega diversities one and out of these, the 17 countries as are the mega diverse one and in these 17 countries, the India is also as a mega diverse one. According to World Conservation Monitoring Centers that is WCMC, they given as to the identified programs for the mega diverse countries one. So, they should be identified 17 mega diverse countries. So, which one are the 17 mega diverse countries out of the global more than 201? These are the USA, Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, Democratic Republic of Congo, South Africa, India, Madagascar, Malaysia, Indonesia, China, Philippines, Papua New Guinea and last one the Austria one. Most of these mega diversity areas are but the several such as those in the Madagascar, the Philippines and the Ecuador pack high diversity into a relatively small in land areas one. Now, we just focus on about the largest one, the diverse nation are nothing but India. So, India is the seventh largest country in the world and has the second largest populated countries one. There is much diversity in the geographical features and these geographical features they also consisting they should be a given as to 26 states and 6 union territories one. The India is one of the mega diverse country commanding 7% of the total biodiversity and they are supporting to the 16% of the world population. Now, why we say that the India is mega diversity center? That means the mega diversity with respect to a large number and wide range of species present in an ecosystem. So, India is a very rich in a diversity of plant and animal. So, it is called as a mega diversity center that is India as a mega diverse nation. The biodiversity is not distributed evenly across the globe because of the specific habitation for to plant or the animal animal varieties one they given to the different types of nourishment and also shelter by the ecosystem one so they are not evenly same across the globe one the certain countries they lying mostly 
into the tropics are characterized by high species richness and more number of endemic species called as a mega diversity one nations about a 19 nations or the countries they are belongs to the category as on a today so out of this one india is also one of the mega diverse country or the nation one now about the india the mega diverse nation so this shows a tremendous biodiversity in this biodiversity the genetic as well as the species and the ecosystem also shows a diverse nature one the india is consist over 7% of a world biodiversity on 2.5% of the earth surface previously we just see the same one the diversity with respect to the species genetic and also the ecosystem one so on the basis of this diversity can be attributed to the vast variety of landforms and the climates resulting in habitats ranging from tropical to the temperate and from alpine to the desert region one then after the total number of plant species in india those will be estimated about 45,523 and those they will be representing about 11.5% of the world flora. This includes more than 70,500 flowering plants and they consist about 4,950 species are endemic to the country. Now, with respect to the different number of flora and fauna, they consist the common plant, animal and also the other some microorganisms or the diverse nature showing by the plant and animals. Now, which one are the common plants they are present in the Indian environment and they shows a great diversity. So, India is one of the countries with a great diversity of a plant because the rainfall, climatic condition and topography, they gives a diversity one. So many of these have been domesticated as the crops of various kinds. Some are fruit trees, some are ornamental plants and some are they are medicinal and they are located into a forest one. These plants having a different growth forms as they are given to or the consisting in the form of trees, shrubs, herbs and some are the climbers. Now what about the common animals that are present in the Indian biodiversity or the environment one and this shows a great diversity. So on the basis of we simply say that India as a mega diverse nation. So which one are the animals in India? the animal variation is extremely high they consist the higher vertebrates one can be find in a forest or some of them they are present in a gardens or the zoo gardens one with given to some are a wild habitats one so on the basis of india is one of the country rich in mammals birds reptiles insects like butterflies and also some forms of the aquatic animals they are also in a marine form as well as also the freshwater forms one then according to the different habitation given by the plant and animals and shows a diverse nature the some animals and plants they are consist as an endangered one because of the habitat loss, over exploitation, pollution and also the by other factors one. So which one are the endangered plants and animals they are present in the mega diverse nation that is in India. Due to a rapid habitat loss, 
and over exploitation in a particular large number of epiphytes herbs climbers they are disappear from their native region over the years one then some of orchards trees medicinal plants they consider as the majorly endangered plants one or the plant species one then some or the large number of animals they are identically mammals birds reptiles corals and fishes they also were demarked as the threaten in our country because of the human dwelling and the interaction they are occur into their natural habitat or the biodiversity one that's a good number of a conservation sites were declared for a protection of a such an endangered plant and animals to save the biodiversity one then why we says as a india mega biodiversity country because it is a biodiversity hotspot and the biogeographic area with a large biodiversity reservoirs which is threatened with a destruction and they consist as an area those hotspots if it contains at least 0.5% of endemic plant species that means they are a mega biodiverse or the bio bio diversity one at a global level there are 25 such a major major biodiversity hotspots out of these two are present in india which one are the two mega biodiversity countries in which first one are nothing but indo burma those there will be earlier says that the eastern himalayas and the second one the western ghat and the sri lanka one and this hotspot they will be occupy less than 2% of the world land surface and they are estimated to have about 50% of the earth bio diversity one now we simply says or according to the biodiversity or the nature of the hotspot one the india is considered as the mega biodiversity country so which one are the regions this conclude or the says a mega biodiversity one so first one is nothing but india is a country rich in a biological diversity with respect to all types of plants they are present in a different habitation climatic conditions and also the other aspects one then same one with respect to the animals and they shows a diverse nature one so it is a rich in a biological diversity one the next one there is a huge species diversity in india because of a different number of species with respect to plant and animals they are remarkable in the indian biodiversity one then india is one of the world's 12 mega diverse nation according to wcmc in 2002 the total 12 main developing countries they considered as a mega diverse and those they will be gathered in a mexico one so which one are those in which the brazil china costa rica colombia ecuador india indonesia kenya mexico peru south africa and venezuela so these are the 12 major diverse countries they are considered as a mega biodiversity according to wcmc in 2000 the india is located at the tri junction of three realms so which one are these the afro tropical indo malayan and the paleo arctic realms and thus it has two characteristics 
element and they gives a diverse nature. So the Indian landmass extending over a total geographical area about 3029 million hectares. So it is remarkable to a species richness and endemism although it ranks at the 10th position out of the 12 mega diverse nation. Now just we summarize the entire topic or the content simply mega diversity means exhibiting great biodiversity then India is the seventh largest country in the world and it has the second largest populated one the biodiversity is not distributed evenly across the globe because of the diverse nature of the environment then India is one of the world most 12 mega diverse nation and it is remarkable in a both species richness and the endemism although it ranks at an 10th position. Now the question time. Here for a single define one or the definition one should be asked what is the mega biodiversity. Then for a short note the given as to the first one India called a mega diverse center. Then second one reasons of India is a considered as a mega biodiversity country. So why we call it as a mega diverse center and why we should consider a mega diversity country as an in India. Then after the multiple choice question in which the first one biodiversity is not distributed evenly across dot dot that means at a global level they are not evenly across so the answer is a globe so biodiversity is not distributed evenly across the globe then the second question India is remarkable in a both species richness and endemism although it ranks at which position 10th position so answer is C 10th one then last one India has tremendous dot dot genetic as well as species and the ecosystem that means those are related with the biodiversity the answer is B biodiversity so we simply say that India has a tremendous biodiversity comma genetic as well as species and the ecosystem one so I think all of you well known 